In this video, I'm going to show you how to expose both sides of 35mm film to get results like this. Exposing both sides allows the photographer to utilize the opposite or red scale side of the film. This technique will only work on color negative films. It won't work on black and white or slide film. You'll need scotch tape, scissors, your color negative film, a changing bag or a completely dark area, and a camera that can manually set ISO for metering. You'll also need to perform a one-time sacrifice of a roll of film. You'll only need to do this once as long as you save the film canister. You pull all of the film out and then cut a straight line across the emulsion. You can also save the cut film to practice loading reels for development. For this tutorial, we're going to assume that the roll of film has already been shot once and has been wound back into the canister with only the film leader sticking out. This can easily be accomplished by listening to the camera back for when the film detaches from the advanced gear. I've also sharpied which side is up to help us orientate ourselves later. Cut the film leader off with as straight of a cut as possible and set it aside. Grab your sacrificed foam canister and align the film like so. The orientation is important. Tape the films together with scotch tape, taking extra care to make it as straight as possible. This next step needs to be performed in total darkness. I use an inexpensive changing bag, but I've also gotten away with doing this step under some blankets in a dark room. Use your scissors to reel the film into the sacrificed film canister until it stops coming out of the original canister. Now you can take the film out of the changing bag and slightly pull the two canisters apart. Cut another straight line across the film, leaving about an inch on each side. Grab your film leader and tape it back onto the film like so. You're all set! Load your film as you normally would and set your ISO one to two stops lower to compensate for shooting on this side of the film. This is tricky and varies with each type of film and the type of effects you want. The darker the exposure, the less legible and more contrasty the red scale images will be. For film swaps, my starting point is usually shooting one stop faster than box speed on the normal side, and then one to two stops slower on the red scale side. Make sure to experiment on your own and you can even vary the exposure across the roll of film to see the different effects. Of course you can use this method to take single exposures of red scale film as well, such as these. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or topics for future analog photography tutorials, comment below. Cheers.